So ladies and gentlemen, this is a second part of the Redux React series. The first part, we looked at what Redux really is and why we use it. In this video, we are going to build simplest example of Redux. As I said before, it's very difficult to understand Redux if, if you just try to use it uh, with React right away without really understanding the concept. So what we're going to do is we're going to learn a Redux in isolation because you could use Redux without React. And if you want to follow the entire series, I'll provide a, a link in the description and also here. And welcome to Taxi Tutorials. All right, so let's look at what we're going to build here um, before we build it. So we're going to have a really simple setup. Uh, and again, since we're not using uh, React with Redux, it's going to be very simple. So we're going to have a store uh, using a Redux and it's going to have a state, which is very simple. It's going to have uh, just a one property called age, which will be a number. And we will have some action, which will allow us to change the, the age, uh, basically incremented or decremented. And there'll be a subscription, which whenever the state changes, uh, the callback function in the subscription would get called and you will be able to see the updated age. And it's very simple. All right, so I've created this project. Uh, basically, it's just a sort of folder uh, called Redux only. And this is where I'm going to build my project. But I will need a Redux uh, package. And in order to have the package, I need a package of JSON. And for having a package of JSON, I need to uh, initialize npm. So all I need to do is npm uh, init, and it should uh, initialize, and it will get going to ask me a bunch of questions, and I'm just going to say yes, yes, and it will fill those in a package of JSON, and in the end you would say yes, and it creates the package of JSON which is here, and it will fill. It has filled the default values which you can change if you want to. All right, so now what we want to do is install the Redux package. And the way we can do it is uh, npm install uh, redux and dash dash save. So the save basically creates an entry in the package of JSON. So um, next time when we do npm install, it knows to update the redux as well. All right, so now I can see it has installed this Redux, which is 4.0.0. It could be different for you, depending on when you run it. All right, so the next thing we want to do is we want to create a file where we're going to write our functionality. And you can simply create uh, one file at the root level called uh, Redux test.js. So first thing we need to do is and we need to import the functionality from Redux package that we just uh, download it. This is a simple project. We haven't really set up the Babel and all that stuff. So we're going to use the uh, Node.js is required to, so we cannot use the import. Instead, we're going to do uh, the old way. So we're going to say const. Uh, we need create store equal to uh, require and inside we will need Redux because that's the only package we have. And this will allow us to create a store. So the next line we can say const store equal to create store. Very simple, right? So we created our store. In the previous example, uh, store has two things. It has a state and it also has reducer. We can create a reducer as a function here. Const, uh, let's say call it my reducer equal to, it's an arrow function. A reducer takes two things. It takes the state and it takes the action. So we can say state and action. We haven't actually created a state yet. So let's create a default state. We can say const initial state equal to. Uh, it's going to have that age variable that we have. And we can put age as 21. This is our default age. And if you have used the new ES6 syntax, it has um, a default parameters. So if the state is not set, set it to the initial state. So all we have to do is here we can say state is initial state if the state is not provided. Inside we have a bunch of functionality. We'll take care of it later. 
Um, but all we need to do right now is put passes reducer so our store is now complete. It has state and it has reducer. Even though we, we, haven't ha we haven't actually implemented any functionality inside the reducer. All right, so the next thing is, which is very important, we need to change this age. Um, we can increment it or decrement it. So we're gonna write an action. Actions are very simple. It, they're just like commands, if you will. Um, and you can say add. And when you say add, the reducer would know what is the meaning of add, right? And then it would say, if I have an action call add, then do this work, okay? So let's write the action. So since we don't have any UI, we will just write it here. We can say store dot dispatch. And remember, as I said, it's like a command, right? And it has one thing, which is type. And this type is just the name of the command. And we're just going to say add. I can say increment it, but I'm just going to say add. And that's all I need to do. When this line comes here, it dispatches an action, which is type add. Uh, we need to implement in the reducer what this really going to be meaning, right? So we need to say, OK, if, if I receive a an action type add, then add some add one to the age. In React, we don't mutate the state directly, and it's still the same inside the Redux. So if I want to change the state, I have to create a copy. So the first thing I'm going to do here is um, new state equal to, and you can use a spread operator. And now I have a copy of the, the state inside the new state. So we can say if the action dot type, remember we passing the type here. So we can catch it here if it's equal to add, then we're going to add one to the age. Then we can say new state dot age plus equal to one. So it's going to add one. And always in the reducer, all you need to do is return new state. So what's going to happen is that the new state gets returned. It's almost like a set state in React when you do it. So it actually sets a new state uh, inside the store. Uh, and to see what really happens, we need to actually console log store dot state, and this should print us the state. Okay, so to run it, I'm going to say node and name the file, which is redux test .js. Oops, I have some error. My bad. Uh, because the state is an object, this is not an array. So we need to do this. All right, let's tr try it again. We have age 22. Before age was 21. Now it's 20. Okay, so now we have add. Let's create another action called subtract. So I'm just going to copy and paste here. And I'm just going to say subtract. Okay. And what if I just run it? even though I don't have any uh, action type as subtract here, what should happen? It should still give me 22. And the reason is it checks if the type is add, it does this. Otherwise, it will return the same state, same state, which we just copied, right? So uh, it should work. If you cannot find the action, uh, in the reducer, then it returns the same state, so nothing changes. Now let's add that functionality to subtract. Subst and instead of plus, we can do minus. And now, if I want to see this, I need to do three things here. I need to have uh, state, and then I would, so I said, let's say, 
add. This one should be after subtract. We need to actually, if I use a JSON dot stringify, uh, it should be able to print the the value and save it. Print it again. Now I have uh, initial state which was twenty one. Then after the add is twenty two, and after the subtract is twenty one. So it really works. Uh, but I don't really need to do this um, after and all that stuff, right? Instead, I need to subscribe so that whenever there's a change in the state, it should tell me that it has changed, right? So for that, and in order to subscribe to the store, I need to subscribe right after the store is created. So I would say store dot uh, subscribe and it takes an call that function and so whenever there is a change in the state it automatically runs this function I'll put that here and I would just remove all the console logs and I would say state changed all right okay so let's now run it if I run it oh I made a spelling mistake subscribe all right so it shows me two times the state has changed and I can see the 21 and 22 now let's say if I just keep adding four times and then if I run it, I should see four times. So every time the state is changed, it would run this. Here is that whenever there is an action type add, it just adds one to the age. But what if you want to do more than one? What if you want to supply a number with the action? Well, you can do that. Um, all you have to do in the dispatch type, we can provide that number so instead of just passing the type we can here pass the value and this is called payload and I'm just gonna say 10 okay uh, and but when you just subtract it the val is let's say 5 now here in the reducer uh, instead of adding simple one we already have action here and since we supplied the value to it, we can simply use it here. I can say action dot well, and here I can also say action dot well. So now the state changed, and now this time age is 31 and 26. So this is in nutshell how Redux really works. All right, so that's it, folks. Uh, if you want to check out the entire series, uh, on Redux, I'll provide a link here, and I'll, you can also check out my React series, which is quite extensive. Uh, I also provide a link here, uh, and if and I hope you learned something from this tutorial. And if you did, please like, subscribe, and provide a nice comment. And you can also help the channel. I you know I worked really hard to make this video, and if you feel like you need to uh, help the channel, uh, you can do so via Patreon, or I have a new thing, which is a store uh, where I build a cool products. Uh, I provide a link, uh, which is a Teespring uh, link here at the bottom of the screen. Uh, check it out. If you like one of the products, feel free to purchase it. And another way to help is by contributing to the translation uh, so that uh, people from your country can also easily learn uh, this technology. I'll provide a link, uh, link in the description. And thank you.